What's up guys? So we have a lot more goodies from one of our channel partners, Tough Skins. I want to thank them for sending these pieces out to me. It is one of their brand new colors in reflective black shadow. Now, this is an awesome color that they just released not too long ago, and it does some pretty cool things when the light hits it from different angles and things like that. So we're going to be swapping out all of the pieces that we've had on the truck from Tough Skins. We're going to be swapping them all out to this new reflective black shadow, and we're also going to be adding more products that we never even had on the truck. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you how to install these things. It's very simple. I've gone over that in previous videos. Um, you're pretty much just cleaning the surface with alcohol, wiping it dry with a clean microfiber, and then sticking the tough, tough skins pieces to the area. So I'm not going to show that in this video. I'm going to give you a quick look at everything we are going to be installing because we do have a bunch of stuff. Then I'll get it on the truck and we'll give you a look at the finished product. Let's jump into it. So here's everything we're going to be installing today. You can see we have a bunch of items from, from Tough Skins, and I'm not going to go over each individual piece, but I do want to show you that kind of reflective black shadow and what makes it so unique. So as you can see, let's just take, um, let's take a look at the, the Tundra lettering here. You can see it has like a camel pattern that almost appears like it's a matte pattern, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on my GoPro, and you're going to see how it kind of reflects. So let me set it down real quick. I'm going to turn the light on on the GoPro and you could almost you could already see it popping down here. So when light hits it, it's almost like a reflective camel pattern that's just super unique and I've seen it on one other vehicle already. It looks awesome. Obviously, I'll give you a much better look when we get everything installed, but these are all the pieces we're going to be putting on the truck today and again, I'll go I'll show you every piece individually on the truck but this is everything i'll put the part numbers down below as well if you guys um, want me to do that for you and also obviously our discount code that we have with tough, tough skins for the channel so i'm going to go ahead and get all these things on the truck we'll give you a look at everything installed guys one tip when you're doing the o there's fatter sides and skinnier sides so when you're lining this up just make sure you have it rotated properly so it goes on there nice and uh you know it fits like it should one more tip guys, if you're gonna be doing these vents over here, the strips that you're gonna get, you're gonna get two longer strips, one for each side, and that goes on the very top um, line there, just because that line is just a little bit longer. The other four are about the same size, just make sure you put the longest line on the top. Just wanna mention something real quick. If you buy this for your hood vents, you will get the pro lettering as well. I'm gonna leave that pro in red though, this reflective black shadow looks awesome with the Red Pro. I can't wait to wrap this project up and show you everything installed out in the daylight. One thing I'll mention guys, if you're doing this piece around the shift knob, you don't necessarily have to take your knob off. I have the back peeled off. Just make sure you don't touch the, you know, the adhesive. If you turn it sideways like this, it'll go around the shift knob and then just rotate it, okay? Again, just be careful you're not touching the adhesive. This is strong adhesive, I will say that. We had to remove the um, the piece that we already had on there, and that was not a good time, let me tell you. So, I just wanted to mention that you can do this without removing your shift knob, and that's how. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Man, does that look good. Now, one other thing I wanna mention, this little strip right here, it's a strip that's going to go right alongside in this. You'll see it better when I actually put it on the truck. If you are going to get this strip, make sure you have this big piece that we just put on. Make sure you have it pushed all the way over, okay? I mean, you should do that anyway because that's how it's going to fit the best. But I just want to mention that. Make sure you have this little piece that comes up here in the front. Um, again, just make sure you have it shoved all the way over towards the driver's seat. That way, when we go to put this strip on, you can see... How it's going to set in there all right last thing i want to show you before we wrap this up and i give you a good look at how all these things look on the truck in the daylight and at nighttime because it does make a difference it looks awesome the start ring button if you saw my original tough skins video it drove me kind of crazy because the start ring button only covers this outer part so the inner part you'll still see the chrome as you can see it's an easy fix and we already took care of it. So what I did was you can easily pop this button, or I'm sorry, this ring off of your truck without removing any other part. All you have to do is just very carefully so you don't break it because it's only plastic, um, just get something up underneath the edge of it and you can see it's only held in 
by these clips in the back, okay? So I popped it off the truck. I just painted it black. Now when we put it back in there and we put our start ring on from Tough Skins, you're not gonna be able to see any chrome at all. If Again, if you saw my original video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These, just about any um, start button ring on the market only covers this flat surface out here. So this inner beveled part would still be chrome and you would still see that chrome. This is all you gotta do to take care of it. It's super easy to do when I actually only use the paint pen that I got off Amazon for like six bucks. I'm actually gonna use it for other things on the truck as well, but that's all I use to paint it. Super easy to do, completely gets rid of the chrome. You won't see it anymore. And as you can see, it pops right back on. Nothing but black and then the reflective black shadow from Tough Skins. All right, guys, we got all of the parts installed. Let's start with the exterior and uh, give you a look at how these things look in the daylight. So as you can see, um, we did the Toyota on the grill. We did the Tundra down bottom there. We did the grill inserts. We did the TRD Pro on the hood vents. Okay, so you can see it's kind of like a matte camo pattern, but as you walk around and light hits it from different angles, you can kind of see the camo pop a little bit. And then I'll give you a look tonight. Um, when light hits it in the dark, it really, really kind of pops. It's awesome. I love it. Looks really good. Couldn't be happier with it. Reflective black shadow is what it's called. We're actually going to be painting this whole front piece here, Lunar Rock, to match the truck. So that's going to make those letters right there pop even more. Let's go around and look at the TRD Pro in the back. And then we'll jump inside and give you a look at all the interior pieces that we did. So what we did in the back here, the TRD is obviously the reflective black shadow, but we also switched out the Pro to the Tough Skins matte red. I'll give you a look at the difference, but first let's kind of just take a peek at this from different angles. Again, you can see how the camo kind of reflects and pops from different angles and different light, different lighting. All right, now let me give you a look Again, this is the matte red from, um, from Tough Skins. If you want to get that, I don't know if they have an option on their website for this combo, the TRD and the Reflective Black Shadow with the matte red for Pro. If not, just send them an email um, and they'll hook you up. But again, you can easily get this combo. If it, they may have listed it on their website after they sent this to me. I'm not 100% sure. But if you like this combo, just email them if it's not on the website. So quick look, the difference between this is the stock lettering. So you can see it has like a sheen. I don't wanna say it's gloss, but you can see how it's like a, a little bit of a sheen. The matte red from Tough Skins, you can see it from different angles. It's just a matte red. And I think it looks awesome with that reflective black shadow. So that's what we did on the tailgate. Couldn't be happier, looks awesome. So here's what we did in the interior. We did this big piece that goes all the way around our shift knob and um, all these other knobs down here. We did this piece that goes around our parking brake, the, the hold button there. We also did this piece that goes around the cup holder. So it kind of, it's one big piece, but it starts here, comes across, down, you can see it right in here. And then there's also a skinny line that shoots up. So that's all one big piece. And if you buy this piece, you're also gonna get these three smaller pieces. So we have a flat line up here. We have this piece, I guess it's trapezoidal, um, another one right there. So it just kind of covers that whole area. Then you can see this matte red line. This is what I was talking about earlier in the video. I like the way that looks because it kind of just breaks up all of the camo. And uh, it also matches very well with the other red accents on the shift knob, our red TRD button that we also got from Tough Skins. Um, that's a mount that I designed in 3D printed. I know somebody's going to ask. So the red lettering that I have on that mount that I designed in 3D printed, the red accents on the other Tough Skin pieces, these foam inserts. So that matte red line to me just kind of ties it all in also breaks up the camel a little bit it just looks really really good in my opinion so we also did the toyota lettering over here i'm not sure if the camel's popping at all but that's kind of what i love about it like i mentioned it's like a matte black with like hints of camel until the light hits it in different angles and then it kind of really pops so this is definitely a, un a unique and awesome pattern. The shift, 
um, or I'm sorry, the start button ring. Let me show you what I was talking about before. So you can see the outer ring right there. That's obviously the tough skins piece. The inner black piece there that's in between the tough skins and the red, that's what would still be chrome if you don't take that out and paint it. If you like the chrome, go nuts and keep it. But in my opinion, it's so... It just looks a lot better and it's so easy to pop that piece off there. You could vinyl wrap it, you can plasti dip it, paint it like I did, whatever you wanna do. I just think it looks so much better with that inner circle black and, and not chrome. So that's what we did for the interior as of now. Tough Skins does offer more pieces in this pattern for the interior. I, I'm not gonna lie, I think I might be adding more. I really, really like this pattern and how it came out. Um, it just looks awesome inside the TRD Pro and inside any tundra really um, not just the trd pro but i i love how it came out so we maybe add more pieces so we'll see what happens there but i'm gonna wait for it to get dark and uh we'll give you a look at the reflectiveness and we'll wrap the video up instead of waiting until it gets pitch black i'm not sure how the gopro footage will come out with that with those conditions so let's go ahead and take a look you can see behind the truck we're getting low light here we're not far away from dark so all i'm going to do is turn the gopro light on again this time i'm going to turn it on the high setting and you'll really get to see look how that pattern just pops that looks awesome in my opinion and it looks really cool with that matte pro that we swapped out from tough skins so there you go you get a good look at the uh the camel pattern there so anytime light hits that from different angles that's what you're going to see so same thing up here in the front when that light from the gopro hits it you can really get a, a good look at that camel pattern. So we'll give you a look at all the pieces just to give you an idea. But man, I got a hand at the tough skins. This is a pretty cool pattern. Even on the smaller lettering up there on the TRD, you can see how that pattern really pops. All right, guys, there you have it. Reflective black shadow from Tough Skins. Definitely a unique pattern, as I mentioned in the video, and I absolutely love it. So give them a look. Don't forget to use our discount code that we have here on the channel. Nitro 10 will save you 10% off your entire order, whether you go with the reflective black shadow or anything else off their website. So yeah, give them a look. Definitely in love with this pattern, and I think we will be doing more with this in the future. So if you have any questions on anything we, sh we talked about or showed in the video, let me know. We'll get them addressed. Thanks for watching as always we appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video